In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make an automatic recording backup in Reaper. Hey, my name is Frank, and welcome to Mono Sound Lab. I guess you all agree that after a long day behind the console, you want to do your loadout as fast as possible. So waiting for half an hour because you are transferring audio files to a hard drive is a proper pain in the ass. Hey, there is a solution. In Reaper, you can have up to two recording locations. So for example, you record on the internal drive for yourself and you record on an external drive for the musical director. Let me show you how you can do that. So we select File, Project Settings, select the Media tab, and here we have two parts we can select, one for the internal drive and one for the external or secondary recording path. For this example, I'm going to select, uh, just put it on my desktop. Recording, backup as a test. And on the external drive, here, go to the external drive, the folder of my multi-track recordings, and hit test backup. Voila. So now the two locations are set. We're almost there actually, but now there's one thing we have to do. So select all the tracks, right click here on the record arm button and go to track recording settings. In this screen, you have to put here you have to put the record to audio pad not on primary only, but select primary and secondary as invisible backup. Then apply sending to the five selected channels or five selected tracks, and we're all set and done. So now, if we're going to record, we're going to record straight away internally on our drive and externally on our SD hard drive. So that's it. Very easy. Thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any question, please leave a comment down below. See you next time. Bye-bye.